Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a one by one or square crop picture in Word. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to insert your image into Word, whether it's one of your existing photographs or whether you want to insert something from the internet or from stock images. I'm then going to show you how to crop the image, how to resize it and how to ensure that you've got your picture perfectly cropped without losing any crucial details. I'm then going to dive into some editing features where you'll learn how to adjust the brightness, the contrast, the color saturation, and how to use some of the more advanced techniques. Once you're happy, I'm then going to show you how to save and export your picture, whether you want a JPEG or a PNG file. So let's get started. So I've just opened up Word into a default document and we need to go and grab our image. So if you go to insert, go to picture, click on the drop down. And you can either select from your file, a photo browser, stock images, and that's images contained within Word, or online pictures. Now you'll probably want to go to your pictures from file, click on that one, and then simply go to the file where your picture is, click on the file that you want, and then just press insert. Now when your file is inserted into Word, you won't be able to move it. So in order to move it, select it, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And then you'll be able to move this wherever you like on your page, because you may want to make more than one of these images. So to make sure this is a square crop, select it, go to picture format, go to crop, click on the drop down and go to aspect ratio and click one to one. Now, when you've got these black markers around the edge of your image, you can either click on the corner ones and resize. But if you do that, you must make sure you click, hold down the shift key and drag. And that will mean that you will maintain that square ratio. If you don't, it will simply turn into a rectangle. So you can crop out as much or as little of your image as you want. But once you've decided on the size, you can then move your image by just clicking and dragging on the background image to move it into the center or wherever you need to crop it. Again, you can come back, make sure you click first, then hold down the shift key, and then you can once again resize that ratio and that size of image. Once you're happy, just press the return key. And then if you want to resize your image, again, click, hold down the shift key, and then you can resize your image to your page. If you want to make some alterations to this image, select it, go to picture format, and then you can go over to this section here where you can make lots of different customizations. So corrections, you can click on the drop down, you can sharpen or soften it, and you can brighten it and add more contrast. So let's click here. Color, click on the drop down, and then you're given a wide variety of different colors. You've also got other colors here, which you can choose from. You can set a transparency color, or you can have alternative picture color options as well. You can also use the artistic effects here, and that gives you further customization. Let's just click on this one here, and you can see that will give you more of a poster effect. Let's go back and try another one. There we go. If you don't like it, just go back to Command or Control Z. It will go back to the previous one and it will keep going back until you're at the original. Transparency is fairly self-explanatory. If we just click on the drop down, click on the transparency you need, and you can see how that alters. And this is great if you want to put text on this image. Once you're happy with your image, you can go ahead and print that out. But if you don't want to print it out and you simply want to save it as it's edited, simply right click, go down to save as picture. At the top here, you can name it whatever you like. You can then save it to whichever file you like. And then you can save it as a different file type. So you've got JPEG here, or if you click on the drop down, we've got a range of other file types you can choose from. Once you've selected the one you need, then just simply click save. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day. Mm -hmm.